Hi guys, Retro Jingo here with another Amiga 3000. Well, my last Amiga 3000 uh, was had the board revision 9. Point, 9.1 or 2, I don't remember. But this one says revision 7.3. And I, as I can see the the what's it called? The kickstart ROMs on the 9.x revision, it's directly on board, but on this one, it's it, it's like this. I have two of these uh, revision seven, and and the Kickstart ROM are uh, actually here on the backside of this board, and then uh, down on the motherboard here. Um, I think from Fabric it had th these um, uh, one megabyte chip RAM, and upgraded to two megabyte chip RAM here. That's nice. And uh, you can upgrade with, uh, I think these are called DRAM circuits for the fast RAM. And I think you can only have four megabytes here as maximum. Or you can upgrade with the uh, set RAM or what they're called, these small thingies here. And uh, if you use these, you can get up to 16 megabytes of fast RAM on board. Uh, but you can't use both of them, so you have to pick one. So, of course, uh, we'll pick this one to have uh, more um, more fast RAM. Other than that, this board looks great. Uh, the battery has been removed and um, in good time, so we don't have nothing green around or nothing. So, uh, that's nice. So. Uh, Let's reassemble this and get some power on it and uh, see if it runs as it should. Installing these zip rams, uh, you, it, it's not just in, in one line. Um, the first one here is bank zero. So um, if you only have eight of these, then you have to install at zero. And then it's called bank one, two, three and zero again. So here, 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 and here, and the same over here. And the next one, then, then it's bank one, bank one, bank one, and bank one. I hope you'll get the picture. So let's um, put in the rest here, and uh, I just hope it works. <laughs> let's see, guys. All right, we're ready to uh, put on the PSU now. Um, the Amiga 3000 has got a built-in SCSI controller. So the cables are ready and the cable for the floppy drive. RAMs are installed. I have a bank four free here, but I have more sockets, uh, more zip RAMs, so they will be installed shortly. It's now time to install the daughter board. The Mega 3000 won't boot up without the daughter board. These were missing on all my Amiga 3000s. Um, I bought all these 3000s without checking them, without power on, so I don't know how many of them works <laughs> but uh, these were missing and i got them uh, 3d printed so uh, i hope i hope it works um, because they're very important without these plastic thingies if i install this uh, daughter board uh, you can see it will be very very close to this metal plate and if uh, these two touches with the power on Goodbye Amiga. So very important. Let's install these plastic thingies. 64 megabytes of uh, fast memory installed. It's got external SCSI there. And the card actually looks like this. Phase 5. And installed it also has an uh, internal SCSI controller. And as you can see, it's fully populated with, with uh, 64 megabytes of fast RAM. It should be enough for this Amiga, guys. So uh, I think it's ready to get some power now. So let's try it out. All right, guys, let's test this bad boy. I have installed the GoTech drive. I have a couple of games here and um, everything should be connected. So let's just power this one on. Let's see what's gonna happen. Um, okay.
Fuck you, asshole. We got nothing. Oh, there we go, it works! Yes! We got some graphical errors here. <laughs> the code check is loading. Oh my god. It works, guys. <sighs> Another Amiga 3000 that works fine. Need some love, need some uh, <laughs> cleaning and. Oh, super front? Oh, that was a, a commercial for the upcoming games, yes. Yeah, another Amiga 3000 that uh, works as it should. I have to make some uh, Amiga system test and all that, but uh, as of right now, it loads the game, I think. I'm really happy with this uh, blinking device because most times with these go check drives when i just get this black screen and nothing happens i don't know if it's uh, an uh... Insert disc two. that voice was awesome back in 1992 i mean we pressed the Insert disc two. button like crazy so um on the go check drive when when she wants to disc two we just press right button here then you can see special edition disc 2 out of 2 alien brief and press the fire button again and then it loads there we go nice oh something's wrong with this music oh maybe it's the the special edition edition i don't know Sounds different. Oh, I don't know if it's uh, the left and right exit two seconds. Right. Left. Oh, both channels work. All right. Yeah, guys. Thank you for watching another Amiga 3000 that runs as it should. That's nice. Have a nice day, guys. Bye.